Councilwoman Missy Miller uh, served uh, proudly in Albany and is an advocate. She's an advocate for people who sometimes don't have voices. And I saw her advocacy up close during COVID when she fought hard to make sure that facilities would get reopened to help people, for nursing, and for all those individuals who need the voices to be heard. And she came forward with a wonderful idea, and I'm happy to say when she presented her idea to the town board, we embraced it. Councilwoman Miller has a very unique story. She lives a life many of us do not understand, and she has a lot of insight that many of us have never seen in our lives, and I appreciate that. She has opened my eyes up to so many initiatives, so many needs out there for our community of disabled individuals who live here that are not being taken care of by the state, by the federal government, and we try and do our best here in the town of Hempstead. You know, I have a different perspective on a lot of things in life. The, um, and one of them is how do we go out and access whatever we're trying to do? Uh, and it's not until you have a need that isn't the typical need do you realize that many, many places throughout this state don't meet that need. They do not provide accessibility. You know, Oliver, my son Oliver, has always been handicapped. From the time he was little, he was in a wheelchair. And it was easy enough when he was little and small to use the toddler changing pull-down tables if we were out and I needed to change him. It was quite easy, just go in, you know, it's like a stroller size. But when they start getting bigger and we start running into problems, either not being able to get the wheelchair into the bathroom area or worse, he's too long to fit on that little pull down changing table. What else am I supposed to do? Oliver is one of thousands and thousands of people across this state who have that need, who cannot use a typical toilet who cannot fit on a toddler changing table. But here's an opportunity here in the town of Hempstead, America's largest township, to lead the way uh, once again on an issue for our people with disabilities. Implementing this here will become a model for other municipalities and hopefully for our state to adopt this. So I thank Missy for her advocacy, uh, Supervisor Clavin, uh, the entire town board uh, for supporting this. Uh, and I hope it gives an opportunity for all people whose families are impacted to just have that sense of normalcy to be able to bring their loved ones with them to public places uh, without having to worry about uh, the, the circumstances that Missy has experienced in the past. Seeing the progress of home care, we're missing the fact that yes, we're supporting people in the home but by not having the supports in the community, such as a changing table, you actually hold back that individual from having the life that they deserve. They don't want the disrespect of having to lay on the floor in, in, a, in a bathroom. So it, when, it, when issues are pointed out, and we thought about it when the infants needed a changing table, we're looking to expand that thought because the dignity needs to be there. People shouldn't be prisoners of their home because they're concerned that they can't be changed. You know, this is good legislation. It's going to affect some businesses. Yeah, but you know what? Can you put a dollar value on giving people the dignity they deserve? I don't think so, and I think the residents agree with us. And I want to thank Missy Miller very much for, for being the advocate she is. She does a tremendous job for every resident of town, I have said, and I, we're blessed to have you on the town board. Thank you very much.